God, I love that smell. You know the one. That fresh, earthy, calming scent in the air when it rains for the first time after a bit of a dry spell. It's one of the most iconic spring sensations this time of year, but what the heck causes it? Well, that smell you're picking up on is known as petrichor, or the earthy smell of rain, and it's created chemically by a terpene called geosmin, which has a very earthy odor and can be detected by the human nose in concentrations as low as five parts per million. Now, geosmin can be found in many different things that have an earthy smell or taste to them, like catfish, trout, spinach, some species of mushrooms, but in the case of petrichor, the geosmin that you're smelling is being released from a bacteria that lives in the soil known as Streptomyces. Now, Streptomyces uses geosmin for a few different reasons, such as deterring predators like fruit flies, which may come to eat the bacteria or whatever it's growing on, or as in this case, to attract organisms that disperse their spores. See, after a long dry spell or some other environmental event, conditions in the soil may not be favorable for Streptomyces to thrive, so they produce spores that they use to reproduce, as well as geosmin. And then when it rains, the raindrops fall and they disturb and aerate the soil, stirring up these terpenes and sending them into the air, which gives us that, that lovely smell that we love so much, but also attracting small rodents, insects, and critters who dig around in the soil, which stirs up the spores and allows them to drift away or to be carried away by said critter to new fertile soil where it can grow and thrive, continuing its cycle life for the next generation. It's a pretty wild and amazing example of different species evolving and working with one another, playing off their strengths, weaknesses, desires, and demands so they can all keep on keeping on. Who'd have thought that evolution would smell so dang good?